Okay, in this example, uh, we're given a table of uh, data uh, pairs of related X and Y values. Uh, these data pairs are arranged in rows. And what we want to do is use the midpoint formula to interpolate uh, or predict uh, the value of Y when X is 15. Uh, now, the reason this is called uh, an interpolation uh, is because um, that value 15 uh, for X, for which we want to predict the Y value, notice that's in between or inside two of the X values that are given already in the table, but the X value 15 itself is not given uh, in the table. All right, so we're going to use the midpoint formula to predict this value of Y that matches uh, the X value of 15. And so let's recall the midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula uh, that's used to find the point x of uh, y uh, that's halfway between uh, two given points, x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, uh, on the rectangular coordinate system. And what the midpoint formula tells us to do to find that point that's halfway between uh, two given points on the rectangular coordinate system is to just merely average uh, the coordinates of the two given points. So to find the x-coordinate, of the point that's halfway between the two given points, we average the two x coordinates of the two given points and to find the y coordinate of the midpoint, the point that's halfway between the two given points, we merely uh, average the two uh, y coordinates. So how are we going to apply the midpoint formula uh, in this particular example? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to convert this uh, uh, table of data pairs to a relation. We're going to think of it as a relation. Remember, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. So we're going to think of each of the uh, related pairs of x and y uh, values in this table uh, as an ordered pair. And then, of course, we can think of each of these ordered pairs as uh, coordinates for points on the Cartesian or rectangular coordinate system. So to find that uh, uh, missing y value, or to estimate, or predict, or interpolate the value of y that matches an x value of 15, what we're going to do is find the midpoint that's between uh, these two given points, 14 and 11.1, .1 and 16 and 13.9, um, on the rectangular coordinate system using the midpoint formula. So in other words, I'm going to think of this point 14 and 11.1 .1 as one of the given points in the midpoint formula, and I'm going to think of this uh, 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 point 16 and 13.9 as the second given point in the midpoint formula, and then I'm going to apply the midpoint formula to find uh, the point that's halfway between these two uh, given points. All right, so let's do that uh, calculation, and that's fairly easy. So that midpoint, we find just by averaging, again, the x-coordinates of our two given points. And then we find the y-coordinate of that midpoint by averaging uh, the y-coordinates of our two uh, given points. So those two x-coordinates of the two given points were 14 and 16. So we add those together and divide by 2. And the y-coordinates of those two given points, the points that we were thinking of as the two given points, uh, were 11.1 .1 and 13.9. Uh, so we're going to average those. In other words, we're going to add together and divide by 2. And now let's do that with arithmetic. So of course, 14 plus 16 is 30 divided by 2. That gives us 15. So see, indeed, that is the x value that we wanted to uh, predict the y value for. And if we take 11.1 .1 and add 13.9 and divide that by 2, well, 11.1 .1 plus 13.9 is 25. And when we divide that by 2, that gives us 12.5. Uh, ah, so that tells us that when we have an x value of 15, we can predict or interpolate or estimate that the matching y value is going to be 12.5. Uh, because 15 and 12.5, that's the... Uh, point that's halfway between uh, 14 and 11.1 .1 and 16 and 13.9. So there's the answer to our question. Uh, we can interpolate or predict or estimate when x is 15 
uh, y is going to be uh, 12.5. Um, to give you sort of a geometric picture of what we just did, um, we actually, uh, in effect, uh, took this uh, uh, table of uh, data pairs and made a scatter plot of it. And then we found on that scatter plot the midpoint that was halfway between these two points on the scatter plot. So let me show you a picture of that because I've already got that drawn. Here's a scatter plot of that um, table. And then see, um, here are the points 14, 11.1, and 16, and 13.9 from the table. And we found uh, the midpoint, 15 and 12.5, uh, halfway between uh, these two points. And that gave us our estimate for uh, the value of y, 12.5, when x is uh, 15.